Last week we shared the website we built for Social Club and you really appreciate it. By the way, thanks for that. One feature that caught a lot of attention was the custom cursor we created. So in this video, I'm going to take you through exactly how we build that cursor in Webflow step by step. Whether you want to recreate it or just learn some new tricks, you are in the right place. So let's get started. All right, so this is our scene. We have our page and inside this page, let's display the grid. And we can see that we have two cards of four columns, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two count that will be our project count. So first of all, we're gonna build this. And after we will take care of the cursor. Let's jump in Webflow and in our main element, we're gonna grab a new section that we will call section and set a modifier of section project. We will set as a flexbox direction vertical and with 100% high auto. So this is already good. Inside this section, we grab a new div block that we will call projects wrapper. Same this element gonna be 100% with and high auto. We can already set as a flexbox vertical and if I check on Figma, I can see that here, I mean, let's go in the dev mode and we can see here that we have a padding of 10.5. And here also we will give, give the same 10.5. So let's go back in Webflow and here we're gonna give 10.5 rem of padding and here too. Now inside the project wrapper, I'm gonna add a new element a new div block that I will call row. By the way, if you don't understand the, the row, the call and everything, we have a dedicated uh, video uh, talking about that. But even if you don't use our method, if you use another method, you, this is not the, the main subject of the video. So you can move forward even without knowing uh, the way we build websites. Inside our row, we grab another element that we will call call and give a modifier of call LG4 like that as you can see the column take four column I just grab this element duplicate like that I have two elements of four column now what we're gonna do is select row and add a modifier justify center like that now if I select my column I can see that they are center in my row. So for we can see better things, let's uh, add a div block inside the column that we're gonna call project count. We will set a width of 100% and a height of 39.6 um, rem. 39.6 rem. So now I can grab this card by the way, I can convert into a link block because it will link to one project. And we copy in the other column. Inside this element, let's grab an image. And here we're gonna place the first one. By the way, don't forget to compress your elements. This image we will call project image. We will set a width of 100% to 100% high and fit a, as a cover. So this is good. What we're gonna do is also select the parent and set a radius of 0.3 rem. And most, in, most important for we see the radius, select the project card and set the overflow. And now as you can see, let me check. You can see the radius here. Now I duplicate my image and select and replace the image. Now that's cool. We build our two elements, but we have a space of two, two columns between them. So what we're gonna do is in our row, grab another div block that we're gonna place between the two elements and we're gonna call it call, call, L and give a modifier of call LG2. And like that, we have two columns. 
of space between the two elements. But now, as you can see, they are not at the same level. In this case, what we can do, add a block here. I like that we go into dev mode and we know that we have a high of 25.3. Okay, I can delete this, come back in Webflow. And now in my project car, I'm gonna give a modifier and I'm gonna call project card and I'm gonna apply a margin of 25.3 rem. All right, now we can jump into the next step, which is create the cursor. First of all, we can select the body and add a new div block that we will call cursor wrapper. We're gonna set as a fixed position, taking 100% width and 100 VH. Like that, we are sure that our cursor wrapper is available all the time on the page. Now we're gonna set the flex box to center, center, like that. Inside, we can grab the div block that appear here, and this will be the cursor. Let's set this element for, for the moment to with auto and flexbox horizontal. And now inside, we're gonna create and add a new div block that we're gonna call cursor eye. And let's see in our design here, what is the size of our element? It's 2.5 rem. So here, we're gonna select a background and we're gonna apply a radius of 50%. Like that, we will have our circle effect. As you can see, now we start to have our highs. But we have one high, we need two highs. So let's duplicate and give to the cursor, let's see the space between the two elements, which is 0.1 rem. So now we can go in the flex box and add a gap of 0.1 rem. I, let's 0.2 will be better. Between the two elements. Now inside my eyes, I need to create the black stroke here. So pretty easy. We go inside the high, create a new div block that we will call cursor um, stroke. Let's don't forget to set the parents to a flex box center center like that. Our cursor stroke will, we will also be center. Let's check the size of this element, which is 2.1 rem. So this element is 2.1 rem. and 2.1 rem. But as you can see, our cursor I, uh, the width changed because we didn't set a width and a high. So we're gonna set a, a width of 2.5 for our cursor high and a width also. Perfect. Now let's apply, of course, a stroke, black. And as you can see, it's a square, so we need to apply a radius of 50%. And now let's zoom and we have our stroke. Let's see in our design, it's a stroke of two pixels. So let's do the same here, two, two pixels. We can add our stroke in our second high. And now inside the cursor stroke, we're gonna grab a new div block and this will be the pupil. I don't know if you say pupil in English. The pupil. 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 The pupil. And the size of the pupil, it's 1.2 rem. So let's set the width 1.2 rem. 1.2 rem and here we're gonna call cursor pupil 
and the parent we're gonna set to a flexbox center center like that inside pupil it's center we're gonna give a background color dark and of course a border radius of 50 percent now we can take the cursor stroke of the other eyes and duplicate and now we have our eyes now that your cursor is set don't forget to apply a display none on tablet and mobile because now we're gonna create the animation so an interaction of a mouse moving the viewport but this is just on desktop there is no cursor animation on tablet and mobile so we're gonna create an animation that we will call cursor movement and here we're gonna grab our cursor and we will apply a move animation on the class cursor like that if you use on another um, page it will work too same on the y axis so on the x axis so on the horizontal when we are with zero person so on the left we're gonna set our element to minus 50 v width like that as you can see it will take 50 percent it will move 50 percent of the view width so it doesn't matter the width size it will take it will move 50 minus 50 percent and when we are 100 percent so here we will move off on the x axis 50 v width and as you can see if i play it's working so this is cool now same on the y axis but here we're not playing this with, with Vwiz but with VH viewport high. So at 0%, so on the top, we will set to minus 50 VH. And at the bottom, here we will set to 50 VH. So 50% of the view high. So it doesn't matter your screen high, it will take it will move off 50%. And now as you can see, it's working. It's working but it's cool but it's pretty ugly so we're gonna add a smoothing of 90% and now as you can see we have something better but also as you can see the pupil are not moving so for that let's go back in our animation take the cursor pupil and also give a move animation on the class cursor pupil we duplicate we duplicate and like that we're gonna set to minus 0.7 rem here we don't care the viewport width of the viewport high the movement is relative to the parent which is set in rem so we that's why we choose rem to set our animation so minus 0.7 rem here and 0.7 rem so don't forget to take off the minus here and if we check as you can see it's working now again a movement animation of our pupil on the y axis so here same minus 0.7 rem we duplicate and at this 100 percent we just take off the minus and we have the 0.7 seven i mean let's try on the live and this is better amazing but as you can see when i reach the top the pupil is going out of the black stroke and this i don't want this it's not beautiful so i'm gonna take my cursor stroke and apply an overflow hidden like that as you can see now if my pupil is going out of the stroke i don't see and this is better it's more elegant but now i want that when i over a card my cursor do a rotation of 180 degrees just to to show that uh, there is an action here that you can click but for that as you can see if i over the card it's not working because the cursor um, think that i'm overing the cursor so for that you need to select 
the whole cursor wrapper and go in custom properties here and set a pointer event to none like that now if i go again and i play i can see that whenever the car my cursor change and this is cool because now yeah, my uh, my my cursor wrapper it's like invisible but as you can see it's pretty annoying that my cursor have the the cursor between the two eyes so for that what we're gonna do is select the cursor and set to a relative position and we're gonna create a movement of five rem and let's see now it's better maybe we should fix to three rem okay now it's better so let's create our animation now we're gonna select the project com and set the over animation just on desktop on the class project com like that it will also work on this one and we're gonna create a over and we will call cursor over in and here we're gonna grab our cursor and create a rotation animation the initial state is zero degrees and i duplicate and i want that after there is a rotation of 100 80 like that let's set the duration to 0 0.6 and the easing to in out quart we have something more elegant now let's create the over out animation so for that i just need to duplicate the over in animation and take off the second state because we what we want is when we over when we over out when we leave the car we want that our cursor come back to zero degrees but we can't set as an initial state because we already set the initial state on the um, first animation so if we already set again an initial state we would have a glitch so we uncheck that and like that we set a duration of 0 0.6 and in out quart we save we play and Look. yes it's working everywhere and this is perfect the highs are moving and when we overcome we have our animation so this is cool thanks for sticking around everyone and i hope you enjoy learning how to create a custom cursor in webflow as much i enjoy showing you if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more webflow tips and tricks and if you have any question or want to see more tutorial like this drop a comment below and see you next time